Hello, my name is Clark Beecraft. I'm the uh, director of the Arboretum here at Virginia Western Community College and also the program head for the Department of Horticulture. Well, today we're here at the Arboretum to talk about pruning tools and items you would use to care for the trees, the shrubs, any of your plants in the garden as far as keeping them under control and maintaining them. First off, we'll start out with just basic scissors. And you may ask, well, what are we going to do with scissors in the garden? But a lot of times, particularly in our garden where we have formal design situations, we like to use these to trim plants such as monkey grass, liriope. We also use these to trim any turf grass we have in tight or small areas to give it that manicured look. The key to these is making sure that the edges are extremely sharp and not dull to give you a even cut on the plant material. Otherwise, you'll end up with a blade of grass that has a chewed end, which isn't gonna look very good in the garden. Another type of scissors, which is exclusively used in horticulture, are these scissors or garden shears. And you can see they're designed much like the regular scissors we use for paper, but it's a much sturdier shear and easier to use. Again, these need to be extremely sharp to be able to cut your plant properly. One tool that is used a lot in the garden are the typical hand pruners. These are convenient because you can carry them on your hip in a uh, sheath and just pull them out and use them whenever you see something that needs to be pruned. They typically have a clip on them that releases them and allows you to to move them back and forth and a spring in the middle to give you that action so you don't wear your hand out trying to move those handles back and forth. Again, you want an extremely sharp blade and maintain that sharp blade to get an even and clean cut on your plant material. The name of these pruners are called bypass pruners and they get that name because the blade bypasses the lower part of the pruner. And this is the best pruner to use as opposed to anvil pruners. This tool looks similar, but as you can see, it has longer handles on it. These are typically called loppers. As a pruning shear, this is used to prune larger stems that you would not prune with the hand pruners. You would not want to prune a woody stem more than three quarters of an inch with this pruner. Whereas these, they can open up and you can have the leverage to prune a stem up to one and a half inch in diameter. You can see this tool here has even longer handles. This can also prune up to one and a half inch diameter stem. But the thing about the longer handles is it gives you the leverage to be able to cut those thicker stems. And it's easier on the user and good for the plant because it doesn't crush the stem as it prunes it. Again, this will be called a bypass pruner where the blade passes over the bottom portion of the, of the pruner. You may have seen these in your parents or grandparents shed. These are called head shears. Typically these are used if you're trying to develop a shrub with a box shape or round shape as opposed to a natural shape where we selectively prune using the hand shears. If you were to visit our maze here at the Arboretum, you'll see how square those shrubs are and rigid the shape is and this is what we use to prune those with. Just another form of that shear that opens up at a different angle and gives you better leverage. This is what I would consider an old fashioned shear. And you could probably find these in hardware stores around the area, but not as common as they used to be. These are what we call grass shears. And these can be used just like the scissors we talked about before to trim the edges of grass along walkways or also trim liriope or monkey grass. 
and this is a quick way to go in and, and tidy up the edges of a stand of ground cover plants, such as the rye. That concludes our section on pruning tools. We invite you to visit us here at the Arboretum here at Virginia Western Community College. <laughs>